Russia has brought you to the Mopoko tributary which feeds into the Waikanae River. Really nice piece of river and Natasha you've been busy I see there's some traps that you've set why have you done that? Yes so we set a few traps uh, yesterday to see what sort of fish are living in the stream and yeah shall we go and have a look and see what's there? Let's see what you've caught come on Hey Natasha what kind of trap have we got here? So this is a G minnow trap so you can see it's Quite small, got some quite fine mesh, small entry holes, and let's see what we've got in here. Oh, what kind of fish have we got there? So that looks to me like I need to get in and have a look. Either a little coda, a little crayfish, or it's a freshwater shrimp. So you've checked out the G minnow traps and we've only found some shrimp so far but we've got quite a different trap here. Natasha, what's this? Yeah, so this is called a fike net, um, sometimes a hinaki uh, and this is a bigger net so it might catch our bigger fish, things like eels and you can see it's in quite a different habitat so we're in a kind of a deeper pool here as opposed to the shallower um, fast flowing where we were before. Oh, fingers crossed we've caught something. Let's have a look. Yeah. Anyone home? It is not looking promising. <laughs> no critters. No one home again. That, that's telling us quite a bit about this stream though, isn't it, Natasha? Yeah, and so sometimes, sometimes we might go out fishing and we don't don't catch, don't find many fish and that could tell us a few things, it might tell us something about the stream that there's not here, it might tell us something about uh, what's happening downstream, so uh, fish that need to migrate, um, they live, they spend part of their lives in freshwater and part of their lives at the sea, uh, maybe there's something downstream, a barrier that's stopping them from being able to get here. Um, it might say something about the health of the stream, so is the habitat not so good but quite nice habitat here actually mm. I wouldn't mind living here if I was a, a lot fish of shelter. <laughs> yeah. yeah lots of shelter um, or it might say might say something about the quality of the water although that's usually the habitat is the more important thing for the fish and is there a barrier is there something that's stopping them from getting here mm, and I guess like all good science it would be a good idea not to just set some traps once and make a conclusion from that. You need a bit more data? Exactly. So before we sort of jumped to, oh no, there's no fish in this stream, uh, we'd want to come back and set some more traps and have another look and see what's going on and maybe try some different methods of fishing as well. So there's a few different ways that we can do fish surveys depending on what type of fish we expect to find. Um, and traps are just one of the ways. So. Mm, and you're actually going to find out a bit more about water quality testing tomorrow. But hey, what a wee adventure. Thanks, Natasha. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs>